Welcome to the David Bradley Show Boom. with your host, David Bradley. There it is. All right. Now, here is the second show of the day. We're on the last day of all this live streaming, so this okay. is going to be fun. Cool. Um, I can't wait to get out of here and go get in a pool or something. Oh, I yeah. mean, I need a margarita or something. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I want everybody to say hi to Billy Smart. How's it going, dude? Doing good. How are you? Oh, man, I'm tired. <laughs> I am wore out, oh, man. Yeah. I know how it is. Oh, CMA Fest is, is kicking my butt. Oh, yeah. It's a busy week. <laughs> so, me and you have been talking around the studio yep. and everything, and uh, we're actually here. I've been streaming live all these three days from Nash Fox Studios off 4th Avenue. Great little place where you can come and do your songs songwriters can come in they can write songs they can do anything you want to do um, if a husband wants to make a song to his wife or a wife wants to make a song to her husband man y'all do it all down here oh yeah and you're uh you're one of the key guys downstairs dude <laughs> oh appreciate that that's, i guess that's what they say but yeah it is a studio for everybody we record all sorts serious musicians tourists hobby musicians families we host parties but uh yeah that's an ash box it's a studio for everybody <laughs> yeah that's what i love about it. it it's a studio literally for everybody oh yeah so some of them studios you got to be somebody before you walk in the door fair yeah that's and I don't like that. I mean, I think it ought to be for open for everybody. I agree. You know, if you got the time and the money, just come on in. Oh, yeah. Out. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that's what I like about here. It don't cost you a freaking arm and a leg. You ain't got to mortgage your house, <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You just come in and, and set up some time, and, and there you go. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. So what all do you do, man? I mean... Uh, I'm a musician, I'm a composer, I'm a producer, um, and I'm a songwriter, and I'm an audio engineer. So I'm an all-around music maker. Um, lately, I've been doing a lot of composition work with um, working on composing music to lyrics that have already been written. Right. Um, that's a, a big project that I'm having. I'm going to have coming coming out. Um, staggered releases of singles over the next cu several months the first one's actually coming out two weeks from yesterday june 23rd um the first song of the bunch um and these songs they were actually written um um, the music was written by me to poems. Um, the lyrics are poems by Bernie Toppin. Um, for anyone who's unfamiliar out there, uh, Bernie Toppin was the lyric, writing, lyric writer for Elton John. Oh, cool. Um, so, yeah, every Elton John song started with a Bernie Toppin poem, and he would write uh, music to his poems, and that's, that's where Elton John's songs came from. Um, uh, didn't Elton actually do the arrangement the music arrangement and everything oh yeah all, all the music uh he made um the piano parts the vocal melodies the arrangement he was uh he was the genius behind that um and yeah like i said it but it all started with these poems um so a uh, little story behind this uh, project that I've been working on is um, back over last Christmas time, I was out shopping with my family and I found a book of all of Bernie Toppin's lyrics. Awesome. Um, so it's going to be all the Elton John lyrics as well as about, I would say about two dozen poems that have never been set to music. Yeah. Unheard Bernie Toppin lyrics. So the project that I've taken on is composing my own music for these poems that uh, are by Bernie Toppin that have never been heard before. So are you like like adding a spin to Elton, or are you just like uh, actually originally just altogether different music? It's original. You know, it's totally original. Um, okay. I mean, obviously, it's there's gonna be some influence of Elton just because. I mean, he's one of my favorite. Um, oh, he's musicians. awesome. He's one of my biggest influences altogether. But these compositions are totally original by me. Um, and some of them actually you can find Elton's demos of out there. Um, and mine are very different. I I, I wrote them without listening to them first. But I oh, cool. I did go back and listen to a couple of Elton's unreleased demos of these. Um, and it's interesting to hear um, the differences, um, especially in that I felt like my, my compositions really held their own in comparison against his, which was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, definitely all original oh, music-wise. So, yep. so you, you got one you're going to play? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I want to hear, man. All right. Um, so I'll start with this one. This is this song's actually, like I said, coming out uh, two weeks from yesterday, June 23rd. Um, I'll start with that one here. It's called When the First Tear Shows. Sweet. 
Mind if I take the headphones off, actually? Uh, actually, you take the headphones off okay. and strum the guitar one more time because I don't think I have a good audio level on that. Yeah, I'm going to add a microphone to that. Sure, sure. See, this is the stuff you get to see when you're live. You get to see all the little changes we get to make and all the fun stuff. And it gets real interesting, so oh, yeah. bear with us for just a second. Behind the scenes. Yeah, behind the scenes. Sure. How many is laughing right now? Who do you think? Who do you think's laughing at us? <laughs> cool. Give me some level on that guitar, man. All right. You good. Rock and roll it, brother. All right, here we go. Hold my hand, girl, tighter, much tighter, cause what I've got to say, I only hope and pray comes out as well as I rehearsed it yesterday. When the first tear shows It's a sign for you to go And baby When the first tear shows It's a sign for you to go And leave her alone With the broken dreams that she owns Well it's a crime for me to tell ya But it's a sin for me to stay and I'll never look behind me As I start to walk away Girl, I'm sorry But it's all I can say And baby, when the first tear shows It's a sign for you to go And baby, when the first tear shows it's a sign for you to go and leave her alone With the broken dreams that she owns You know I used to love you We lived every minute together You know I'm not that kind of man For to ever hold your hand As much as I can say hey, hey. And baby when the first tear shows It's a sign for you to go Baby, when the first tear shows, it's a sign for you to go and leave her alone. And baby, when the first tear shows, oh baby, when the first tear shows, it's a sign for you to go and leave her alone. With the broken dreams that she owns. All right. Dude, I like that, man. Thank you. That is awesome. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you want to hear the playback now? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, that puts a whole new twist on that whole song. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it just, dude, it worked great. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I wonder if, uh, I wonder, I, when you get all this done, are you going to send it to Elton? Oh, he'll hear it eventually, I'm sure. You think? He'll hear it, yep. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Especially if you get like a thumbs up or something from him. Oh yeah. Know? Oh, he'll, I'm, I'm confident he'll, he'll, he'll like it. Um, yeah, like I said, there's, I've written about six of them so far mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to release them staggered. So, um, the first one's coming out, like I said, this month, um, probably it'll be sort of like a monthly release. I've written six of them so far, but there are more sets of lyrics that I've yet to compose music for. So the project is definitely not finished. Um, 
it could really go as long as I have Bernie's lyrics to work for. Yeah. I'm really enjoying it so far. <laughs> What's your process on it? Oh, it's a, that's a great question. So, um, I'll elaborate. Uh, I have a good answer for that. Um, have I'm you practiced this answer? Have you practiced this? I actually have. Yeah, I've, okay. Well, I've answered this question yeah. before, uh, <laughs> several times before. So um, the way I'm not really uh, a songwriter. Well, I am a songwriter, but I'm not a lyric writer. So most of the time in the past when I've approached songwriting, it's come from a uh, musical standpoint where in the past before this project, um, most songs that I've written started with like a guitar riff or a uh -huh. production element or yeah. a drum beat. And the melody and the lyrics would kind of be a little bit of an afterthought because uh, my brain just doesn't work that way. Um, so this was the first time that I've actually started composing a song with the lyrics. Um, which really opened me up to a new way of songwriting that I think uh, helped me write better material. So basically the way I wrote these um, is I would just hold up the book and read the lyrics out loud and sing them to myself, just pacing around the room, singing the lyrics over and over again, no accompaniment, just acapella, until I figured out a hook. Once I started getting um, the melody in my head, I would, I would, I would keep singing sing through it until I really solidified what part is going to be the hook right and then i would just i would go through that some more and really fine tune it and not until that point then i would pick up the guitar at that point i would record myself singing it all the way through mm -hmm. um, so i have an audio recording of my voice singing it and then i would figure out the guitar part by playing guitar along to the recording that i made of my voice right so all of these started melody first um and then i came up with the guitar part to support that um and at it was really effective, I think, because the vocals, um, especially with this type of music, the vocals and really the lyrics are the meat of the material. That's the part that the audience is going to connect with the most. Oh, yeah. Um, so I really wanted to frame these songs in a way that there was no... Um, extra instrumental riffing to distract from mm -hmm. the lyrics in the meaning of the song. Right. So that's kind of why I approached it that way. And it's worked great. I think we'll see a lot of people when they do a song, they'll actually, I can't remember the word accent, accentuate a different track mm -hmm. in when they're recording. Oh yeah. Just to get, uh, it's what I call the Hollywood feel music mm -hmm. and they'll kind of do like a feel. Oh Yeah. You know, and that's a lot of times I love just a straight band or I'll just love just a straight acoustic set, mm -hmm. you know, because it's that's raw to me. And, that, and the more raw the music, the more it feels with me. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Yep, I agree. Yeah, that's but, that was the idea behind this. I wanted to keep it stripped back, let the uh, let the vocals shine through. Because really, I mean, Bernie's lyrics. That's I mean, you can't go wrong. I mean, you'd have no. to really try to screw it up. I oh mean, yeah, he's giving you something brilliant to work with. Might as well just try to put it in the best light possible um, and go from there. So that's what I did, and it's working so far. <laughs> that's awesome. I love it, dude. Thank you. And then you've got your own studio too, and engineer work. Oh and, yeah. All of it's self-produced, by the way. Um, this, the song that's coming out, if anyone likes how the production sounds, hit me up. I'm also a producer, audio engineer. I love helping musicians. So once, once you hear this song, if anyone's interested in working with me, I'm always looking for collaborators. Cool. So, yeah, like, I'm just like, yeah, yeah. with all I do and a day job, I don't get much sleep. I'm sitting here wondering how much sleep you're getting because you're fidgeting over there right now. I mean, I'm like, dude, that leg's going 100 yeah. mile an hour. <laughs> yeah. I'm an energetic guy. <laughs> you are. I'm sitting here wondering. This dude's sleeping three, four hours a night. That's about it. Uh, sometimes. sometimes it's hard to turn your brain off. Oh, man. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you ever wake up in the middle of the night? 100%. Actually, two nights ago when I finished the production on this song, it was because I woke up at like 4 a.m. and I was just so inspired to finish it that I couldn't go back to sleep. I picked up my guitar. The last thing I had to record was a little guitar solo. Um, so I woke up at like 4 o'clock in the morning, recorded the solo, and then sent it off to uh, distribution to release it. <laughs> uh, say, I'll, I'll take and I'll have a, a, I'll go to sleep or something, and then I'll wake up in the middle of the night. And I've got a piece of paper and a pen right there. Yep. Because yep. I don't write songs or anything. I'm not that ca talented. Right. But uh, I'll just I'll have an idea about something or, or something to do with the show or how I want to do something else. And it's just, if I don't write it down, I'll forget it. Mm -hmm. You know? And, and it just gets crazy. Yep. <laughs> but that's what I was curious about because a lot of people, especially 
songwriters i've heard that they go through droughts of well not droughts bouts of where they just don't hardly sleep at all oh yeah because yes. everything just keeps going and going and going it comes in bursts um that's i think true for a lot of musicians and really artists in general is the pro- the productivity comes in these crazy bursts of inspiration where you mm-hmm. might be working tirelessly days on end um because you're feeling so inspired but then there might be other times where you're just completely uninspired and you just feel dead creatively you might not get n- nothing done at all but then it all it all goes in cycles you all you'll always come back to the part of the cycle where you're uh, productive again and that's what i found it all comes in bursts so what 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 actually inspired you the most besides his lyrics Mm -hmm. to do this Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a good question um well i've never really uh produced recorded and released my own personal music before i've been in bands um that we've released our music and i've helped other artists put their music out there but i've never um put myself in the spotlight in that way and it's something that I, i wanted to do um, I've always been interested in doing that. It was just never the right opportunity, um, partially because I'm not a lyric writer. It doesn't it doesn't come easy for me songwriting in right. that way. So when I was presented with this opportunity of um, this uh, gold mine of expertly crafted lyrics, I was mm-hmm. like, "This is it. This is my opportunity to get my music out there and get my voice heard." That's awesome. Yeah, I love it. Thank you. So how many more are you gonna play? Uh, can I play one more for you? Yeah, you can play one more. Cool. All right. I'd love to hear it anyway. Oh yeah, thank you. Because like I'm gonna be trying to get the uh, when it when you drop it, I'm gonna yep. try and snag it because I I find it really cool the oh, whole yeah. different different avenue way with those lyrics. Yes. I mean it's awesome. Thank you. Okay, so this one's called Sales. I viewed in my presence, my hand on my forehead. And sight in the liners of mad merchant seamen In search of the living Or the spices of China Lucy walked gently between the damp arrows And shot out my eyes with the width of her fingers Said she's guessed the number of bells in the back room While the singles were screaming Lucy was eating Then we all up our colors the way mother told us And together just watch the sails Lucy walked and lived between the damp arrows And shut out my eyes with the width of her fingers Said she's guessed the number of bells in the back room Said, in a passage of cotton kicks Can we hold hands? I'm sure that it's warmer But then the girls ate the crumbs Of the loose sandwich I love that. Thank you, sir. <laughs> That's a, yeah, I got to get that. 
<laughs> when when you come out with it, when you release it, I want it. Sure thing, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, that's good stuff, dude. Oh, thank you. I can't believe it. Uh, that inspired you to do all that. I oh, mean, yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. Thank you. <laughs> means a lot. It's been a very inspiring process. That's the, definitely the right word for it. Well, I mean, it's you know, honestly, it's an avenue that I don't think a lot of people have thought about doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's unique. I Maybe think. we shouldn't be telling everybody this. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think people want to hear it. That's that's the big one of the big reasons why I jumped to do this podcast because I think people would be interested in hearing these songs. It's unheard, unreleased Bernie Taupin lyrics. Um, yeah, I I think there I think people are, would be very interested in hearing this stuff. Um, yeah, I'm glad I'm getting the opportunity to share it. Awesome, I love it, dude. It, it, it's 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 been a total pleasure. Thank you. I, I love hearing this Likewise. stuff. Likewise, and hopefully. Elton to hear it and be like thumbs up and and just <laughs> dude it'd be cool if you get him oh, yeah. to do one of them I oh mean, yeah that, that would be awesome that would be a that'd be like true. the pinnacle man oh yes yep it, it would be awesome as hell yeah i mean just uh <laughs> that's a dream come true yep yeah i mean it's just uh because i mean you've got me sitting here thinking how could you rearrange rocket man you know <laughs> <laughs> well yeah the songs that are like elton songs i don't really plan on reimagining reimagining any of those partly because i don't think i could like come up with a melody that's different than what he did yeah the reason i could do this is because i had never heard him sing these songs before right. this was just bare lyrics that i could take in whatever direction i wanted i don't think i could ever touch rocket man <laughs> It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm trying to be quiet. I keep dropping stuff. Oh, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Kirby keeps dropping stuff. She's <laughs> she's such a sweetheart. She got here early, so <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> it's nothing but fun. Oh yeah. Oh, so yeah. are you uh are you actually working in with any artist right now? Just Help yeah, mm-hmm. actually, a uh, really good artist I'm working with um, by the name of Jason Crow. Um, mm-hmm. I went to school with him. Uh, he's a great songwriter. I was actually in a band with him in college, a heavy metal band, oh, cool. um, which unfortunately were uh, not active anymore. Um, but we do have some music on on Spotify and Apple Music. It's called Oswego. Um, but I work with him on on his solo music, um, and he's extremely talented. Multiple genres. Um, he's actually from Mexico, so he does a fair bit of Spanish music as well. Oh, cool. Um, um, but I produce his his rock music, his folk music. Um, check him out, Jason Crow. <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of uh, actually, there's quite a few country artists now that are actually incorporating Spanish into mm-hmm. their lyrics on stage. I believe it. Yeah, I it mean, works really well with rock music too. Sp- um, Spanish lyrics works really well with. Yeah, rock it's music. like sometimes you get to a certain point in the song, and then you just. Throw that Spanish lyric in there. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you know, and it then hits, yeah, and it just it kind of works. Yes. It hits. Yep. You know, mm-hmm. I don't know Spanish, but me neither. <laughs> I don't. It's a beautiful language, though. Like it just it sounds very pleasing. Mm-hmm. Um, I I produced several of his like little Spanish folk songs, and I can't understand the lyrics, but it just sounds so pleasing the way he pronounces the words. Um, it's just nice to listen to. <laughs> well, yeah, and that's like, uh, well, Rammstein. Mm-hmm. Yeah, German band. Yeah, yeah, the German band. Mm-hmm. I can't tell you a damn thing yeah, about their right, but I love their music. Oh yeah, I oh, mean yeah. it's just the drive in it and everything else, and what he does lyrically, <clears throat> it really, even though it's in German, how he does it lyrically. I mean, you kind of you can get a feel for it. You know, you get the vibe, you get the intent. Yeah, yeah. oh you know? yeah. And uh, I told somebody else this, but. I've been to a bud load of concerts in my day. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, back in the 80s was you lived at the concert hall, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, I've got a list. And when I went and seen Rammstein, they went to the number one. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Dude, their show. Oh, yeah. I've heard like fireworks and pyrotechnics spectacles. It's pyrotechnics. Yeah. It's the lights. Oh, yeah. It's, and Everything is on time. Yeah. Everything. Tight. tight, yep. Yeah, everything. The whole production of the show was tight. Oh, yeah. And during this particular tour that they did in the United States, they had the stage set up, mm-hmm. and then they had an island in front of the production booth. Mm-hmm. And this 
bridge lowered Mm -hmm. and they walked across the top of the audience and went to this little stage. Mm -hmm. Now you've got full production stage. Mm -hmm. You come across the bridge, little Island stage, you go to the Island stage and it takes you back to the days of playing the small clubs. clubs. Yes. That's so cool. Yeah. And it was just phenomenal. The crowd went nuts. Even talking about it, I got little goosebumps. Oh yeah. I mean, it was just the most, outrageous phenomenal show i've ever seen in my life that's really cool and now i was just like dude y'all are number one from now on man. hell yeah <laughs> they're great sorry man. alice cooper they beat you <laughs> i'm sorry oh yeah uh, <laughs> they're both great yep oh yeah they are so tell everybody where they can find you please look in this camera right here all right you see this camera yes this, this, i yes i see it um <laughs> uh, so my name is billy smart i'm not like super active in promoting myself as an independent like star or anything but i do have an instagram page for my music production services it's called idlewild studio south i-d-l-e-w-i-l-d idlewild studio south so if you want to get in touch with me for uh anything music related that would definitely be the place to reach out and you're going to put some of your stuff on there too right yes absolutely on on these streaming services and all that these songs will be released under the my name billy smart so you can look for it there so now you're an artist oh yeah now at this point yeah. now you're an artist <laughs> say so you're on my show so you're an artist oh yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> All right, dude. Well, we're going to get out of here. Cool. And it was a pleasure. Yeah, thank you dude, for having me on. It's been fun just hanging out with you during the after we get done with I the agree. craziness, yeah. you know. Likewise, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and the crazy bathroom run people yes, and everything else. Buses, yeah, dude. <laughs> One went by a while ago with the bridesmaid thing, and I'm like, oh god, here we go again. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, That's brother, man. Yep. Well, I'll see you after a while. Appreciate it, man. All right. Thank you again. And we're out of here.